Hey guys, it's Sophia the Diabetic Vlogger and I just had this idea today. When I bought stuff, I don't always share them with you guys unless they're like music stuff or book stuff. <clears throat> and not that I buy like a lot of probably interesting things to show you guys. I mean, I probably could have, but I didn't have my camera. I wasn't into vlogging as much and I just fell into love with vlogging and talking about sharing the stuff I'm doing, the things I'm thinking about and all of that. And so I shared the guys things I was looking at buying, which one was the Pyromania LP and it was just getting up too high. I started the bid at $11 and it went up to 38 plus $5 shipping, making it about $43. And I just did not want to pay that for a record because I have four, I've got like probably 10 records I want to go buy right now. So I've been looking around trying to find the cheapest records when I was looking online. I found I can get it from Barnes & Nobles for $19. Now that was limited edition and then it was the red edition would have been cool. But I don't care how it looks. I just want to be able to listen to things. And so spending more money on it just to have the color edition really does not make sense to me right now. Because I just want the music to listen to. And records are coming back in the stub. They're still so expensive. So maybe if I wait a while, I'll be able to get it cheaper. Now what I did buy was I bought a six sets of Def six set tape of Def Leppard records. I mean not records, tapes. And I'm so excited because I've been wanting a tape player and it's a really cute one for twenty two dollars I was gonna buy on eBay and I missed that on it. I'm really sad, so I went ahead and bought the next cheapest one on there. It's just a plain and simple one, but I can decorate it with stickers and stuff so I can I'll do a, a video of those when I when those come in and and so, but the reason why I did the tape is like that's cheaper. I'm getting double the amount what I would normally spend on one record. I'm getting six tapes, six albums, and that's just awesome. So if you guys know of any good places to get records and music for cheap, please let me know. Um, so I'm not going to be buying a lot of stuff since I'm starting school. And it's going to cost me a bit of money, which I've got a good amount of money saved up. But it's going to cost... Um, it's going to be just for the tuition itself, which is really cheap. It's a little over $2,000. And then I've got to get my books and my scrubs and all that. And I don't know how much that's going to cost. And my insurance is $8 a month. Um, I did find out that I can't, I can't get my appointment for tomorrow. So I have to pay $25 to get the papers, which is very upsetting. But at least it's less than four. I need to save as much money as I can. And then hopefully I can get a job at Parkland as soon as I finish my schooling even before I take my test if possible but I'm just really excited I'm ready to move on with my life it's been great having these months just kind of you know, relax and sit back and kind of think about you know what I want to do with my life and what, what I want for my life things I need to work on and it's helped me realize some of the other things that I really want to do more which is traveling and vlogging and I want to get back to writing again because I miss writing I'm trying to get back into drawing again because I normal journal but I don't been really bad about it. I'm trying to get back into that. Um, and I want to get back to walking, so I want to go on a walk today, but it's kind of cold, so I like to go to the mall. If not, I still like going to walk because I just get this like I want to sit down and read, but I can't because I just feel I need to get up and move and be active. So I'm really excited about this year. It's it's scary. And nervous at the same time I have been in school for like five years and I know I'm always learning and I'm always reading stuff and learning things and I don't I like I've had learning problems and learning disabilities and I think I've outgrown a lot of them so I don't think it should be as hard but it's still going to be different but I'm just ready to immerse myself into it because that's all I've been wanting to do for a while. And so I'm just going to submerse myself and do it. And I'll have to give up some of my hobbies. But I still want to at least film. I think I should be able to do that. Because it takes less time to film than it does to read a book. But I wanted to read as much as I can in the next eight days. So we'll see how well that's going. I'm really behind in reading the book I'm reading right now. So please let me know what type of stuff you guys do and books you're reading. I hope you're having a good day. And I'll see you guys next time in our video. Goodbye.